Hello there. Silence BMW. I'm doing a Volkswagen video. He's just jealous. Pierre Repair here. Welcome to another video. This is a 2012 Volkswagen Golf. It's got a secondary air injection insufficient flow code. Uh, we're gonna try to diagnose this and see what we find in this system. Okay, this is the list of codes that I have right now. I am going to focus on um, the ones concerning the secondary air injection system. We're gonna focus on P0491 for secondary air injection system, insufficient flow, and P2432 secondary air injection system airflow slash pressure back one sensor circuit low um, we're going to focus on that and disregard the engine coolant temperature sensor um, circuit high for now um, we'll go ahead and focus on secondary air injection system um, let's go under the hood again and see what we find all right guys you always want to start with the basic all right um, you don't want to be dismantling a whole system while you have a relay or a fuse that's bad. And although I have limited information on this vehicle, I know for sure one of those relays um, is for the air pump. And then um, this is this fuse right here is F27. It's also for the air pump. So what you can do, you can basically swap one of these relays. You know, um, what are the odds that two relays are bad at the same time? Or you know, you can just test test the relay, um, power and ground in the small terminals, and then see if it, if the relay is gonna click and you know passes the power through. Um, you can test it like that, or you can just you know do a quick swap and um, check to see if your fuse is good. In this case, the fuse is F27. Now I need access to the whole um, secondary air injection air injection system. I have to remove the whole. Um, intake plenum. Let's take this guy out. Let's move this up a little. Uh, this is hard. I don't go to the gym for nothing. Alrighty. It's out. And detach this part right here. And the whole thing comes out. Now I have access to the whole system. I can observe it. I can check it out and, and follow it. I don't claim to be a Volkswagen expert or a Volkswagen specialized technician, but knowing what I know about engine controls by observing the circuit, I can tell this right here, it connects to the, to, to the intake hose. Um, I can tell that's the, that's the inlet to the air pump. That's where it sucks the air. And the outlet is this hose right here. And it has a flow sensor, I would say, that's attached to it. Um, maybe it's a highly calibrated pressure sensor and um, and right here we got the uh, that this is an actuator basically that that's that's the uh, control valve that controls how much air is going into the exhaust manifold I don't have a wiring diagram I don't have any anything on this vehicle but I, c I can observe the circuit I can observe a few things I'm getting my hands on it I, I can check it so right now I'm gonna try to test the air pump I don't know if the camera can pick that up. The air pump is all the way um, down there. I'm going to bring power and ground from directly from the battery, um, bring power and ground to this motor and see if we can run it. All right, this connector is for the air pump. I'm gonna assume that the red and black wire is positive and um, the brown wire is negative and um, <clears throat> connect directly to it. I'll show you what connection I have on there forced to run it. I'm going in full mad scientist on this thing. All right, I have the wires apart, they're not touching. I'm gonna bring power and ground. As I said, this is my connection. If you're doing this, just be careful because you don't want to burn an air pump. That's good. So let's make sure this thing works. All right, I got my connection down there. I'm ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and test um, this air pump. Well, I can hear it. If I can hear it, this means it works. Um, I'm getting a shot of it right now. Um, let's hear it again. Oh, the air pump works. Well, this is automotive, and the approach that I'm going to take on the system is gonna be more like uh, criminal justice. Everything in the system, I'm gonna assume that they work until proven that they don't work, right? 
I'm not gonna falsely accuse them until I test them and prove that they don't really function. So right now I can tell this motor works because I tested it, but this check valve should be a normally closed check valve until you know the computer op um, closes the relay and for the for that you know for the valve to open and let air flows into the exhaust system so right now we're going to assume this this check valve is is the control valve rather is closed and if i'm connecting this air pump right here and i still hear i can still hear that much air flowing but that hit that air looks like oh it it, it, it I, it feels like it's it's going somewhere else, you know, it's escaping somewhere Because right now there should be some kind of restriction or Maybe there's some kind of bypass valve in there. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the system But we need to check to see I'm gonna go ahead and put some soapy water on there and see what we got See if it's leaking air somewhere Okay, let's check the system again together. I got some soapy water down there it's not really soapy water, it's simple green. Um, it, it's bubbles. There must be something in that system. I'm gonna take the hose out and check it again. Okay, I had a suspicion that this hose was in my way. I couldn't really tell what was going on. Maybe the hose is leaking, but it's out right now. I have a plastic bag in there to block um, the passage of air. Now, you can tell at the, at the back of this, the motor itself, the bubbles are coming out. Now I have enough evidence to condemn um, the motor that there's a crack in it. So let's see if there's a crack in it. Let's take it out and go from there. Now I have the old air pump right here. It's leaking in this region right here. That's where it's leaking from. And here's the new one. I hope it's not leaking anywhere. So this one right here, it says, made in the United States, must be better than this one, America. Alrighty, let's replace the nail pump. I've been driving this car for two days now and it's codes free. Go to engine control module, Okay, and check trouble codes, no fault detected, I call it a fix.